Hi, I'm Lindsay Meharry, and today we're going to talk about how ridiculous it is that the city of ultimate squalor, San Francisco, is going out of their way to ban e-cigs of all things, but I need to hit this first. Yeah, so San Francisco banned jewels, which is, in my opinion, fucking bullshit. Because I, as someone who smoked for 10 years, I love jewels because it freed me from smelling like shit and smoking cigarettes out in the cold and just kind of being gross, you know? And so I just like, I think the misconception is it's like, it's not that everybody who smokes a jewel thinks it's like super healthy or even like markedly better than cigarettes. It's just less gross. Like if you like my house doesn't smell like cigarettes, my clothes don't smell like cigarettes, my teeth aren't brown. And it's like, it's like, I know I'm still dying. Like I'm dying all the time. Like It's fine with that. And this whole ploy of like, they're pretending it's like, oh, for the kids. It's like, fuck off, dude. And everywhere in San Francisco, you can buy like mixed pre-mixed drinks like already in a styrofoam cup you can get like lean at the corner store you can like get needles to shoot up at like any cvs it's like a total like if you're not a tech billionaire you're a total piece of shit even like the cool subculture skater graffiti writers like they're all gnarly drug addicts there so it's like to single out jewels of all things is obviously employed by the tobacco company who is in congruence in some way with the local government of san francisco but I don't know, it's like the same shit where they make you have crazy child packaging on weed but you could just open a bottle of vodka. Like an 18 year old could go buy a pack of Marlboros that's clearly grosser than buying an e-cigarette and produces way more trash. So, San Francisco, you've been on a downhill slide ever since the tech thing took over. This is just another nail in the coffin of what used to be a really sick subculture mecca. So, RIP.